Yo guys, welcome to today's video where I'm gonna be showing you the new perk system and how it works in Modern Warfare 3. There's a few new things in the game, so yeah, let's get into it. As you guys may be able to see here, there are some new additions to the game, such as vests. They are the most important thing simply because they do block out certain other parts such as the gloves, the boots and the gear you can see in the bottom right. Depending on which vest you have, it will block out some of them places. But with the infantry vest, which is basically the double time perk from previous Call of Duties, which increases your attack speed and uh, refresh duration or whatever that means, you basically get all of your tacticals, your lethals, equipment, gloves and then boots and everything. But here with the engineer vest where you spot enemy equipment, field upgrades and kill streaks through walls and aiming down sight on them highlights them it's basically the spotter scope or whatever it is spotter perk as you can see you get two tacticals but you don't get any lethals with this one so it definitely is going to open a new system of customization which i'm really looking forward to then the gunner vest where you deploy with max ammo and you get improved reload speed but you don't get any boots which boots are very overpowered which i'll show you in a little while so that's maybe not the best one but for warzone if you want to start with max ammo it could be very good then with the demolition vest you get basically the resupply perk where you resupply your lethal and tactical every 25 seconds and you get everything with that plus you get two lethals which is going to be very useful so they're basically all of the vests pretty interesting dynamic they've gone with this year and then going to the gloves you've got the quick grip gloves it just increases your weapon swap speed which is just fast hands perk basically and then next up is going to be the scavenger gloves which i think you know what that means get a scavenger perk and then for the third one, it's going to be Commando Gloves, so you reload while sprinting, which is probably the one I'm going to go with. Um, I think I'll find that one quite useful. But more importantly, the boots. Starting off, you've got the lightweight boots, which increases movement speed and swim speed, and it reduces the noise you make while swimming. Could be good for certain maps. Then the climbing boots increases your climbing and mantling speed and reduces fall damage. I'm not sure how effective they're going to be, but they could be decent for certain maps as well. Then the Stalker boots increases your strafe and ADS movement speed. I think we've seen this in a previous COD and this could be very very overpowered. Then we have the tactical pads which increases your slide distance and allows for full ADS while sliding, increases stance transition speed and crouch movement speed. And then we've got the covert sneakers which eliminates footstep sounds. So this is a dead silence perk, this is going to be very overpowered and I reckon it's going to be used a lot, probably why it's the last one there you can unlock. And then we're going to have EOD padding which is basically EOD reduces damage from kill non kill streaks and whatnot and then we have tack mask making a return so it reduces the strength of enemy flash stun and gas grenades and then we have mission control com link which is basically the hardline perk just means you have to get one less kill to activate your kill streaks or score streaks then the bone conduction headset which reduces combat noise allowing for improved identification of enemy footsteps could be very overpowered and then lr detector which i don't know what that even means to be honest and then we've got Ghost, everyone knows Ghost, but this time you have to be moving for it to be active. Not sure that suits my player style, but a lot of people will be happy about this. But these are all the perks in the game and this is how it works. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, remember to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more videos like this. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace.